guys, it is your girl Jess back with another video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the lit side. And if you already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but like, I did my eyebrows today. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. I uh, went ahead and cut this bitch short. I cut it. I was freaking done. I was tired of slicking down, washing my hair every other week, or and um, getting a glob of gel and doing the arm work and doing a bun every other week because my hair was just so extremely damaged. It was crazy. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna talk to you guys today. Um, tell you guys what pretty much prompted prompted what prompted me to just chop it all off and start from scratch okay um so yeah if you want to know then just keep watching even though i just already told you but yeah keep watching anyway um yeah first things first i've never been the type of person to be like into my hair like that um or care about hair care until like middle school like all the way up until middle school it was always like relaxers for me um like most people around my age i know not everybody but most people around my age they just grew up getting relaxers at a certain point and didn't remember like when it started or whatever um you know things like that i remember their mom putting it in their hair whoever used to do that happened with me and then about to the point where i got into middle school around like seventh or eighth grade um the person that my brother was dating at the time she was like look you should come with me um to get your hair done like i'll pay for you to get your hair done we'll just have like a little bonding day and i was like okay but now that i think about it like did she do that because my hair was messed up or something like what so anyways yeah she took me to get my hair done for the first time um the lady that i went to did blow it out I mean, she did relax it and blow it out, and my hair looked great, and I loved it. And ever since then, I was like, wow, I want my hair to continue to look like this. So from then on, I used to obsess over my hair. Like, to the point, I think around eighth grade, like, it was to the point where my hair looked absolutely horrible. I'd be in shambles, like, crying hard as heck on the ground. Like, I was very dramatic about my hair. Um, which I'm not like that anymore. I will have a rough time my hair looks a mess. You won't see me. But I'm not like how I used to be crying, acting very irrational over my hair. My mom literally used to look at me and be like, over your hair? Over hair? And I'd just be like, you don't understand. I have to go to school, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I was very dramatic around that time. Yeah, so that's what happened there. And I was just obsessed with having my hair look nice. So, um... Around ninth grade, I had started, I cut my hair and I used to like braid it on the sides and have like a fake little mohawk thing going on. Like it was very dated. I have no pictures of it because I did not take pictures during this very ugly phase of life. Um, one of my friends that I knew since middle school, uh, we had like a class in ninth grade and he took a picture of me and I did not know it. And like he'll send it to me sporadically every now and again and be like, look, remember this picture of you, Jess? I'm like, please never send that to anybody. Just delete it, please. Like, I don't even want to see it again. But um, I hope he doesn't see this video and, and send it to me because I'll be so upset. Um, yeah, it, it was a hot mess. So ninth grade year, you know, I was transitioning through that ugly stage of life. Like, I thought the hairstyle was like, cool or whatever some people thought it was cool some people thought it was a hot mess but now that i look at it it was not cute i don't know what i was thinking my mom used to just she didn't tell me the truth she just let me go out looking any type of way and it's just ridiculous so um after ninth grade like my hair started growing and every single time where it gets to my hair where it gets <laughs> every single time my hair gets to the point where it's growing where it's like you know getting a little long like shoulder length ish for me that's when i'm like hey i want to dye my hair so um that's why i had problems as well um let me go back real quick to like middle school when i was getting relaxers eighth grade um i don't know who it was it was a singer back in the day she's not big anymore no offense her name was jordan something 
and she had red hair. If I could find her, like, if I could find her, I wouldn't throw a picture of her. Her name was Jordan something, and she was a singer, and her hair was like this auburn color, or like red, and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna do that color, and me and my friend kept talking about how we were gonna dye our hair red, but she was just talking about it, and I was like, serious, like, I'm going to dye my hair red. And I did it, and she was like, oh my gosh, your hair looks so good, it's red, uh, uh, uh. So yeah, did that, dyed it, and um, had a relaxer in it, and my hair was just stripping away. And it was just, it was not okay. So yeah, stripped my hair really badly. So from there, when I went to ninth grade, that's where I had the short kind of cut, fake faux, fake curly mohawk, if you will, that I had going on. Um, that I have no pictures of, thank God, because it was atrocious and I just don't want to remember that phase of my life. So um, after that, my hair got a little bit long again and I was like, I want to dye it again. And I dyed it red, red. My hair was hot, fire hot red and I loved it. Um, so yeah, my hair was probably red from about the middle of ninth grade to like the middle of 10th grade. And then I was like, I'm bored with the red, I want to do something else. And I was just dyeing my hair sporadically like crazy. Kind of how I was doing before this cut. So from there, I dyed my hair like a purple color. I attempted to dye my hair like, um, what is it called? I had my hair honey blonde. And then I really disliked the honey blonde after a while. And I was like, hmm, let me dye my hair jet black blue. But when your hair is already light and you try to dye your hair jet black blue, it doesn't work out. Because I put a jet black blue rinse over the top of my hair and it came out like joker green teal type color. And it was hideous. And I took no pictures of that look because like it was so bad. It was so ugly. Like even like in high school I had like friends who were guys like a couple friends who were guys and they were just like you look like the joker dye your hair another color and they were honestly my true friends they honestly were because like all my other friends who were girls were just hyping me up with this look knowing I looked a hot mess they were just like oh my gosh I love this color I love the experimental color but that color was just hideous it was hideous and everybody just lied to me I don't know why like don't do that don't boost my head. So yeah, that happened. Um, after that, um, I pretty much stayed. I'm trying to think, was there another color in between teal and something else? I think that was it. I rocked with the red for a heavy, like, a good while. Like, red was my signature color for a minute. Uh, but yeah, after the teal, I just went black. <laughs> After the teal, I just went back to black hair and I was doing braids, I was doing wigs and different things here and there because like I just got bored and I also was like in dual enrollment for hair school which was like a big mistake on my part. Um, dual enrollment for people who don't have it or don't know what it is, um, it's when you um, are in high school for like a, well like in high school the first like half of the day you get on the bus and go to like a technical school if you're um, going for like a trade if that's like to be a hairstylist or to be a mechanic um things like that or if you're just going to take like english classes or college courses you can do that at a technical college too for dual enrollment for me i was doing it for hair because i thought i was going to be like a hairstylist while i'm going through college blah blah, blah. um which would have been great but college I went to was low-key scam so um yeah so I was like I can do wigs and stuff like that let me do certain things here and there and yeah it was fun but then when you grow up and your life gets busier and you have more stuff to do you just don't have you just don't have time for all that and for me personally summers in Florida wearing a wig some of y'all who do it are troopers and I commend you but I can't the heat from the wig the wigs literally like my the back of my neck I'm just miserable so I knew I wouldn't be able to like do that at all um so yeah and then recently when I had the blonde the blonde was like probably my favorite look but because I was not and I know I wasn't genuinely taking care of my hair like I should have my hair was stripping and it was so damaged because for one, I went blonde, and for two, I didn't know how to stop putting heat in my hair because I wasn't getting it professionally done. So I tried to either like, um, to blow out my hair myself or um, 
gel it back into a bun, which is drying it out as well, not putting enough moisture in my hair on a regular basis, really damaged my hair. And then I went from blonde to gray, which damaged my hair even more. And then from there, I was like trying to dye different colors because I just didn't know what would work. And I was like, I'm just tired of dealing with this, spending so much money on products and all this other stuff. I just want a low maintenance hairstyle. And it, it has always been in the back of my mind for like months now, since like even in the middle of quarantine, I want a shortcut. I want short hair. Like, I, I just want short hair. So what I did, I chopped it and got my little bob again every time when my hair is really damaged i'm like i'll get a little bob because i don't want to risk it what if i'm ugly with a shortcut what if it's not that cute um so yeah that's what i did um and then the person i wanted to do my hair we had a lengthy consultation about my hair because i was like i i, I want to do the cut but i'm not sure i don't know if it'll look right i don't think i should do it and then she was like, I think it will look great. It will definitely be low maintenance. And she was just talking to me about it, how the styling would be. And I was like, I don't think I'll be able to maintain it and all this other stuff. She was like, you definitely need to come to the sh to get it professionally done every two weeks or whenever you have the time. Um, because yeah, I've never had to do short hair. And in the back of my hair, it's definitely tapered. So I don't know how to deal with that. So I'll definitely go to the shop because I don't have the patience to do my hair right now. I have so much stuff that I actually want to do. Um, and things that I'm so excited to tell you guys, which I will tell you guys at the end of this video. But uh, yeah, I was like, I don't have the patience for all this. And then I was like, I'll just get a blowout. And she was like, look, you'll get this blowout and you're trying to save this dead hair when you'll be doing yourself a favor just by chopping it off and starting over. She was like, why not? And I was like, now that you put it in perspective, let's cut this off. So that's what we did. And she, the color of my hair before, um, if you guys seen the last video, it was like a weird auburn-ish color. Cause I didn't know what I was doing. And I was putting dye on top of dye. I was just being very impulsive, which is not, <laughs> I was gonna say it's not usually like me, but I have, I have my impulsive moments. So it was kind of like me. So, yeah, she was like, I'm going to dye your hair too. I'm going to put a rinse in it for your charge because I, I think with the shortcut you're trying to go with, the color that you have now, it won't be it. So I was like, okay. I literally put all my, I put my hair in her hands. I, I just trusted her because I was like so scared for the cut and everything. I just didn't know what right decisions to make. I was like, you do you. You do know what you know how to do and um, I trust you. I literally told her that. And she was like, okay, okay. And she was like, I'm gonna let you know you're in good hands. It's gonna be so cute when you're done. And I love hairstylists like that. Cause if, <laughs> I'm usually never indecisive, but when I am, oh my gosh, it will take me all day to make a decision. I might just leave so I don't have to make a decision. So I really love that she was patient with me and she was like, just trust me, I got you. Loved her. So, um, yeah, this is what I want to tell you guys. I don't have like a super long story of my hair. I guess I'll insert some pictures and stuff so y'all can see what that's about. But y'all, the front of the hair is cute. And I actually, I think I love myself more with short hair than like my regular bun or straggly hair because I had no patience with my hair anymore. And I was just like, all right, buns. Um, yeah, so there's that. I know y'all see the front of the hair, but <laughs> let me show you the back of the hair. That is cute. It's so cute and tapered and I just, I'm in love with it. I love that it's low maintenance. Um, so yeah, that's all I want to talk to you guys about. Um, also, I did want to mention, um, most of you guys know I do have my blog, The Lookbook. Um, I will be doing um, more things on there because I hated that I, I put so much time and effort into my work that I like, working for other companies and when I'm working at a store and stuff that I don't even pay attention to what I personally want to do. So I'm going to be doing more on my blog, The Lookbook. Um, I'm going to be posting like an Orlando spotlight for different people who are um, up and coming talent in Orlando and that's rather if it's um, photography, makeup, um, 
videography, things like that. Young talent that doesn't really get to be recognized in Orlando because nobody really looks at Orlando for talent like that anyway. But um, I'll be using what little platform that I do have to kind of like make sure you guys know about them. Um, and also on my blog, I will be do offering a virtual styling experience. So what that will be, you'll um, go in there, take a little quiz, find out what your style is, and you also go in there and let me know like if you have um, a certain occasion that you're getting all dressed up for, if you just want to change your wardrobe, if you just, you know, want to consult with me and talk with me about certain things about your style and things that you want to do. Um, if you're getting style for a photo shoot, you can talk to me about it and I will quote you and give you my price. Um, so yeah, cause I am starting out and up and coming and I'm like, why can't I just do it for myself? I'm tired of like waiting for somebody to offer me a lane to go through or offering me an open door. If I see it myself, I'm just gonna create my own lane, create my own door, build my own door to walk through because I'm just tired of waiting around for somebody to hand, hand me things when I can just, you know, start out for myself. I know it's not gonna be like huge thing starting out or whatever, it'd be great if it could be, but I know I can at least do what I can do. I can at least hustle while, you know, things pop off for me. So yeah, there's that. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you loves sometime this week. Peace out my loves, stay positive. Mwah.